And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Snapvine Overwhelm. Going to be our last meme tier Monday deck today. Uh, this one's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to be playing an overgrown Snapvine deck and that's always a lot of fun playing this card and all of these different versions of it. <laughs> so basically, whenever you summon any um, follower, you just kill it immediately and then you summon an overgrown Snapvine in its place. Okay, so every single follower that we have just gets killed immediately. You get the overgrown Snapvine. All right, so the overgrown Snapvine is going to be a 5-3. Um, and it's the card that our deck is going to be built around. Now, the 5-3 is going to be important because what we're doing is we're playing kind of a combo with that and with this Ursine Spirit Walker, where if we can turn on the Plunder, transform this into Stormclaw Ursine, now we have a 6-6 six -six where... Um, all of our other allies with 5 plus power have Overwhelm. So basically we want to get uh, this in play first and then play Overgrown Snapvine because we can't have it second, right? Because if it's second, then like it will just, the Spirit Walker will just get killed and turned into a Snapvine. But then, then we can fill the board with Snapvines and then all of the Snapvines have Overwhelm. So that was what uh, the person that donated for the deck wanted to have these two together, uh, get that combo, get them Overwhelm. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on to make this overgrown Snapvine really good. So we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna for our let's go with our champions first. Well, Babbling Fury is pretty easy. You know, whenever we summon draw a unit with five plus power, our only unit with five plus power in our deck is going to be the overgrown Snapvine. So that's gonna be an easy way to tutor up overgrown Snapvine and put it into our hand. But let's look at our, our two champions. We got Callista and Maokai. Callista's just kind of gonna be here to just you know kind of be like an, an earlier uh, threat. I don't think that Callisto works, like Callisto works well with um, Snapvine in one way where it's easy to level up because each time that you play a follower, it's going to die. But it doesn't really work the best with Snapvine where if you attack and you put in a different, um, you, you if you attack, you put in a follower, that follower gets killed immediately and gets turned into a Snapvine. So it's like it attacks and it puts a Snapvine into play for you, but that Snapvine is not uh, still attacking anymore because it was killed and then your Callista doesn't have the protection. Um, but that's okay. You get, you know, you get a free snap fine whenever you attack with a leveled up Callista. Um, but then we have Maokai. And Maokai is going to be important because Maokai, whenever we play another unit, then we eat for the, you know, the first time each, each turn, we get a sapling. And, you know, a sapling's okay. It's a cool little 2-1. But if we have over, Overgrown Snapvine in play, the sapling just gets killed immediately and gets turned into an Overgrown Snapvine. So basically, you have Maokai in play. You play something, that turns into a... a um, an overgrown snapvine and then plus the sapling that Maokai generates turns into an overgrown snapvine so it's a, it's another way to be able to get even more five threes in play plus each thing that dies and gets turned into a snapvine that's all dying so that all uh, counts towards the 25 for Maokai's level up so maybe we can have a lot of things die for Maokai okay so then earlier on uh, we're just gonna have like some kind of like your normal like Shadow Isles cards like with the early cards the things that you don't mind dying we're gonna have Blighted Caretaker in here because that's really strong um, but you know we'll have like a couple of hapless aristocrats some Warden's Praise Avaros and Sentry Curse Keeper none of these things that we you know like these are all things that are good to have die they all have last breath um, so we have you know all four of those with the last breath so we play them they turn into overgrown snap lines and they give us uh, different last breath things so like Curse Keeper and Hapless Aristocrat both make another unit whenever you, whenever they die. So that means they would make um, two Overgrown Snapvines because you you play an Aristocrat, it they kill it. Now it's a Snapvine, and then you get the Spiderling. Well, it's Spiderling, it's a follower. Kill it, make another Snapvine. So this is one mana make two Snapvines. Same with Curse Keepers, two mana make two Snapvines, and so on. So you know we'll have a lot of those. You know Valfies can make a Snapvine for us. But then we got, uh, besides that, we just got some removal, a couple Black Spear, a couple Vengeance, and some Stalking Shadows to help find everything. Some Glimpse Beyond to draw some cards. Got a good amount of card draw with Sentry drawing, Glimpse Beyond drawing, um, Babbling Bjerg drawing. We got, so we got some decent card draw in here too. All right, well, that's enough about the deck. Hopefully that makes sense. You can, let's see it in action. We're going to go play five games with um, some Snapvine Overwhelm. <clears throat> okay. What do we got? We got Ezreal, Jinx, and Heimerdinger. 
Well, let's definitely keep the vengeance to kind of kill that kind of stuff. Let's maybe mulligan the rest. As real Jinx Heimerdinger. Yeah, let's mulligan the rest of these. Okay, got Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker combo. And now we got a couple of snap finds. Oh, we expecting callers. What you looking for? She's just her claws. I don't like this, Kempunk Pickpocket. I don't like it. What do we have here? Yoink. No, we got yoinked. They never stop. All right, so they, so the spells they could get would be, um, one, two, three, four, five. So there's, you know, there's five spells they could get, basically even odds between all of them, with Vengeance, Black Spear, Vile Feast, Glimpse Beyond, all being two ofs, and Stalking Shadow being a three of. Everyone's a garden. Okay, Noob Loco, you predicted win. All right, I'm gonna try to win this time. Uh, yeah, might as well just. Might as well just draw two. This it you know keeps the Ezreal from getting a target. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Predicting with channel points. It's not betting. I gotta get out of here. Cool. We'll just take the trades across the board. Never mind. Alright, we've had five things already die for our Maokai. Whoa, say yo ho! Gifting out a sub. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go with. Let's go with the Babbling Beard. Draw an overgrown snap mine. Get another one of those. Sixth sub of the day. Now I can go, I can double up next turn with six man. I can go Callista and a Caretaker. There they go. Oh, well, thanks, Ayo. I said, Ayo came in here to sub, but I couldn't for some reason realize that I'd already been gifted a sub, so I'm happy to pay it forward. Well, that's cool. Well, thank you very much. All right, so I have Callista, Caretaker. What they discard? It's gonna happen, yes, but they didn't. They didn't discard the Mushroom Cloud. They discarded a Vile Feast. Huh. So I know this isn't like the best trade for me. 3 1, 1 1. But I want to make it uh, because with Overgrown Snap Mine, we, we can go like pretty wide with these Overgrown Snap Mines, and I want to just clear up the space. I, I just want like that 3 1 dead TBH. Plus, now they don't have like that 1 1 to block my 5 3 or anything. And I'm, I'm not going to Vile Feast right now, right? We're going to wait till after Snap Mine and then Vile Feast so that we make. Another snap line. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Yeah, this one's looking really good for us. My My saplings. You name it, I'll nick it. No, nothing wrong with putting Yetis into the deck with Snap Vines. Nothing wrong with that, because they're, they're, they would just be one mana Snap Vines. That's not bad. Let me take some one mana Snap Vines. Alright, Callista. I'm gonna play this because I want three plus allies to die. I mean, 
yeah, I think I think a one mana snap is as good as most other cards. I mean, that's that's about as good as you can do is one mana snap bind. One thing die. Two things die. So the undying is just going to keep dying turn after turn after turn and give me snap vine after snap vine after snap vine. <laughs> Infinite snap vines. Which I could do that or I could do Blighted Caretaker and get more snap vines right now. This only gives me one snap vine this turn. This gives me more snap. You know, that gives me two snap vines this turn. Yeah, so they, they're they dead this turn. So unfortunately we don't get to do the cool... Don't get to do cool and dying stuff. Because they're kind of dead. <laughs> and there we go, GG's. The overgrown snapline is sweet. Uh, no champions with Ionia and Targon, so that probably means elusives. That would be my guess here. Targon and Ionia both have some pretty good elusives. Um, it's Mulligan the Cursed Keeper and the Hapless Aristocrats. I'll keep the Bjerg to draw Snapvine. I'm going to keep the Warren's Prey as like the early card, right? Like Because we want to find Blighted Caretaker. And I, I know that Curse Keeper plus Blighted Caretaker is probably better than Warden's Prey Caretaker, but I just I like keeping the one mana card over the two mana card. Plus, they could be a deck with like Zed. Or no, they can't have Zed. Never mind. <laughs> they don't have champions. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Yep, he loses. All right, Blighted Caretaker. Where are you at? Not there. Well, we're just gonna curve and hopefully outrace him. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Four two life steal. You're strange. All right. Well, that will just trade with my Callisto. They only heal their Nexus for one. Cool, Black Spear can do some work. Swole cat. Teeth make us tombstones. Full speed ahead. Um I gotta get out of here. Interesting block. I think I played the Stormclaw. Yeah, we played the Storm the the Stormclaw. Just need to turn this thing into the 6-6 six, six right now while we have the plunder. Caustic Cask. That's pretty awesome with Overgrown Snapvine. So unless they give this Swole Squirrel Overwhelm, I'm not too worried about it. I guess they could give it elusive, and maybe I should be a little bit more worried about it then. Yeah, I wish I could cast Vengeance this turn. Stay hidden. Okay, well, that's 12. They'll never see us coming. Eighteen six. So let's see, I'm about to go down to two. Yeah, it's true. If they have Dragon's Rage with the Swole Squirrel, I'll die. Hmm. I taste purple. Yay. Well, that's not cool. In Avarosa's name. Lightning flows. What are you? 
I need one of my things to die. I know I'm getting rid of the snap vine here, but I need something to die to turn on Black Spear. good. Okay, well. Yeah. Alright, Swolecat Elusive. <laughs> they out-memed out me with the Swolecat Elusive. Okay, we're facing Taric Fiora. Here we got Elusives are like the best meme decks, right? Like our Elusive deck that we played went 4-1. Squirrels and Zeebles. I hope they don't have Fiora. Like, you know, like Fiora, Fiora's a big problem. I hope they don't just don't have the card. Because we're we're trying to have like all of this stuff die, and like if all this stuff dies, you know, like Fiora does a really good job of like killing our things anyway. Can I have you last turn, Callista? You were doing great last turn, Callista. My shield is yours. Gotta get out of here. All right, so they get another gem. Black Spear is good against uh, Fiora. I'm glad we haven't seen Fiora yet, though. Definitely holding on. I got like infinite gems. Definitely, you know, of course, holding on to Hapless Aristocrat till we have Overgrown Snap Vine. So we can just like, you know, drop Snap Vine, drop Aristocrat. Okay, we maybe set up the Undying to go along with our Snap Vine. So I think I want to play Stormclaw this next turn. Let's play the Warden's Prey so that we can turn on. This is not the way. Turn on Plunder. Let fury spill from the sky. These gems grant a wearer harmony. So they're gonna make a six power. <laughs> make that thing like six power or something. It's gift giver. No return. Like, do I want to have the Stormclaw Ursine get reposted? Not particularly. I guess I guess they already have like infinite gems anyway. Just let them have more gems. Just leave me alone! Hmm. This is just... This is nerve-wracking, because if they just use a fight spell and kill my overgrown snap vine right now... I'm really sad. I really hope they don't. 
Perfect. They didn't kill it. Let's go. My gift. Darn. Okay, they still killed the snap iron. That was the risk with the with attacking. But oh, I guess they're dead though. Okay, well, that's. I guess that's acceptable that they die. But I would have rather displayed more snap irons. Or Aquilabot. Aquilabot had the loss. Sorry, Aquilobot. Vengeance is gonna be like super necessary for the Hecarim. I guess I mulligan the Cursed Keeper, even though if I find Blighted Caretaker, I want it. No, of course we find Blighted Caretaker. But I was gonna say that Sentry is still not that bad with Blighted Caretaker anyway. Alright, so Warden's Prey, even better to fly to Caretaker. Nothing escapes my watch. But with them being an ephemeral deck. Hmm, because. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm expecting Zed this turn, but then. It, from their perspective, they just like wait till after combat to play Zed. I, I guess I am attacking them for eight though. Eight is you know more than a third of the life total. I guess that's forty percent technically. So eight is so this is forty percent of their damage with their life total. And now they play Zed. And I still have Sentry to block Zed. Mage Seeker Conservator. I got the onslaught of shadows. What's that noise? Do not deny me. You have to get me out of here. So I'm taking 10, 50% of my life total. Metrocyte protect me. I don't know why I played that. I probably should not have. Probably should have just played sentry. Yeah, I should have just played Sentry. There you are. <laughs> Voices of the old ones? Well, that's not going to really do a whole lot. Alright, cool. Blighted Caretaker is what I was looking for. But yeah, I could have spent one extra mana and had a sentry in play, which would have been another two power attacker. Um, looks like they just gained five. Yeah, I was thinking Deathmark also. I can't really stop Deathmark. Alright, so they gain five, take seven. Taking two total. These old eyes still see far and clear. So next turn is turn seven. So I could go Bjerg now to, to draw. Oh, I guess playing that means now I don't have vengeance for Hecarim. Oh, that was probably bad. I should have saved that two mana to have vengeance for Hecarim. No, they're not. They're not gonna have ruination. I mean, I would, I'd be happy with ruination, but I don't think they're gonna have that. Okay, cool. Not Hecarim. No 
Then we do some blocking. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. Level, levels up, Callista. No. Follow close. There's the death mark. Alert the villains. Light the signal fires. Death to all the traitors. All right, we're gonna tend the garden. We'll go with that, and then caretaker. Yeah, it's true. If we find another Callista, we'll be leveled up. Uh, no. Wait, you're you're ephemeral. Well, that's not as good. Hmm. All that matters now is the little one. We got lots of saplings. How close is Malachi to leveling up? 14 out of 25? So this will be 15, 16, 17, 18. You of course want to put the Bark Beast first, because you want it to, you know, you want to be able to kill that first. Yep, we got to kill Zed. Can't let them open attack with Ephemerals. <laughs> yeah, who's the ephemeral player now, right? Yeah, we, we definitely look like the ephemeral player there. Uh oh. Well, I guess that's game. I can get a couple of overgrown snap vines, but like if if sap magic would just heal the nexus, like why does sap magic not heal your nexus? Yeah, mage seeker, or if mage seeker conservator, what if this would have created you know like ruination or something useful? Glimpsing Zed didn't make any difference between glimpsing, you know like. Or glimpsing like their other one one. You know, they they just were gonna glimpse one of the two. Didn't matter which one. If this if this healed me. Cause I would be able to like go like block, 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 block. We take six. Um And so if this if this did heal me three, we'd be able to go to one. I guess we could try it. Maybe it's bugged. It didn't heal me. At least we can have leveled up Maokai. That's always cool. And so life so close. Unfortunately, Harrowing, you know, puts like those six attackers in with one card. It's difficult to stop. All right, two and two. No, my least favorite deck, the invokes. So I should probably keep my champions. Then I guess I keep Curse Keeper, Black Spear. I mean, Curse Keeper is not doing anything unless we find Blighted Caretaker again. But it's really good with Blighted Caretaker. I'm just gonna mulligan it. Is the one true light. Follow the horizon. This is my least favorite deck to play against. We shall not rest until all the 
Stalking Shadows could have very likely found a one mana unit if I would have just played Stalking Shadows before, but I kind of like keeping this three mana Black Spear available. Devotion to battle. I will tend this garden. My opponent's deck is like the anti fun deck. Right, it's just like no fun allowed. Every betrayal sharpens our resolve. And the will so they get to Pale Cascade. Not worth it. It was right on my tail. I want to save the aristocrat for after the snap vine. Sunlight guiding my brethren. They can pill cascade there, and that'll be my second thing to die for Callista. Our strength is forever at its meaning. Blessed daylight surrounds you. All right, back up snap fine in case one something happens to the first. The storm approaches. I'm just going to play that as is. Yeah, I don't I don't have like all the awesome stuff that you have, opponent. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with what I'm I'm working with what I got, okay? Working with what I got. The rot must be cut away. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. The dawn has arrived. Behold the sun's holy light. So Maokai is critical. Because if I if I play a snap vine, it'll immediately get a backup snap vine. So I don't have to worry that much about that. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. The forest's vengeance! Sunlight burns in our weapons. Okay, let's see. Let's play the Warden's Prey. I'll level up Callista. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Bask in the light's radiance. I have three blockers. Take Take eleven, go down to one. Punish transgressions. Perfect. Not dead. All right, not dead. I'm sorry. Not dead is good. Where's Maokai at with this level up? 11. Let's 
Callista's not protected. They can kill Callista by just blocking with, like, a Robin, but... Um... It's worth it. Right, like, we want to just try to... Oh. That's how that worked? I was expecting the Snapvine to get killed and then... Huh. Guess this worked. Okay, not... Wait, why would they heal that thing and not heal their Nexus or heal this thing? Ha! They conceded. Did they mean to play Judgment? I think they meant to play Judgment and they were like gonna try to set up this cool Judgment kill of like kill all those things. I think that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> But they, they played that instead. <laughs> uh, that's that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, so yeah, so there we go. Okay, so we finished with the winning record there with Overgrown and Snapvine, as well. Um, I liked how our deck looked. You know, it's not it's not going to be perfect or anything like that. But I think that we, you know, as far as like building an Overgrown Snapvine deck with uh, Stormclaw or Sign, I think that. Uh, I think this actually did pretty well. You know, the Stormclaw sign and the Snapvine. Uh, yeah, I think they, they fit together. Did feel like maybe we need a little bit more removal. You know, like another Black Spear, another Vengeance, that kind of stuff. Like the removal spells were definitely good for us. But yeah, we got, you know, our, our one opponent had like all those Ephemerals that uh, I thought that we were going to be doing just fine, but th they just had too many of the Lifesteal Ephemeral. Like that, that one that really helped win the races. And then, of course, Harrowing. You know, like I was still feeling great about that game, but Harrowing just... Ended up killing us before we could take over with the snap vines. That last game we probably shouldn't have won, but my opponent, you know, conceded. They, I guess, I think they were trying to play judgment and just played the wrong card. But there we go. All right, so that's over. That snap vine overwhelm. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, let me know what you like. You know, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. But let me know what do you want to see for next week on Meme Tier Monday, especially with like all the new cards that we're gonna have uh, coming up. You know, which ones are you excited about for Meme Tier decks? Um, you know, give me those ideas. Let me know what y'all want to see. Um, hopefully y'all liked this. You know, let me know in the comments, you know, how'd you like this? You know, uh, you know, if you got any other cool overgrown snap find decks, you know, feel free to leave those there. But that's it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.